Okay, so cutting out images. Um, cutting out images deals with selections and how well you're able to make your selections. And this, at the moment, I have uh, two layers going on. Um, I'll pull the layers up here so we can see them a little better. Uh, I have my image, which I used for a different tutorial. And I'm not trying to rub anything in here. Um, on one layer um, and an empty background layer that's neither here nor there as to whether it's one or two images um, layers so we're going to use selection tools on this one and every image is going to have a different approach to how you make your selections and selections are often more than just one um, movement. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to try the object selection tool because my main objects in this image are um, fairly well defined. There's good contrast uh, between the backgrounds and the objects. And so I'm just going to draw a box around him with this uh, object selection tool. And looking at the marching ants, I have a fairly good selection. Now as I look, there are some things that I might want to include in that selection. Uh, it looks like I don't have a good selection right there between his uh, legs and another not so good there. So. Let me work on those first. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here just so I can see what I'm working with. Yeah, I've got a little bit mess here and a little mess there. Um, so I'm going to need to add that selection. I'm going to go to the quick selection tool and give that a try next. What the quick selection tool does, it tries to kind of guess what I'm selecting. <laughs> uh, and so this looks like it will probably clean up fairly quickly. Uh, I'm going to make a small brush. I want this brush to be fairly small, so I'm using my brackets to make that smaller. And I'm going to hold the Alt key to subtract. At the moment, this grass is part of the selection, and I want to remove that, so I'm going to hold the Alt key. and. It really got the grass. I need to get this little line here. So I'm just going to click on it a couple times to make that disappear. Uh, I can do the same thing up here with the Alt or Option key. And it gets pretty darn close in there. And also right there, a little bit of green. Depending on how much I want to mess with this. Um, this looks like it's actually part of the number. And so, or the yard line. So I need to clean that up. I'm going to try the quick selection tool and try to remove this little piece of the selection. And it did just a fine job. So I got away with that one. Not sure it's going to be quite as easy on this little piece. And so, a couple different methods that I can do, maybe even right in there too. Uh, this looks kind of precise to me. And so I'm going to, because I know who asked for this particular video, I know she has the skills, although she doesn't know it, to do this. I'm going to use the pen tool. And I'm going to Click and drag, come up here and pull it out just a little bit to follow that. I'm going to use the Option key so I can always be pulling in the direction of my next movement. And I'm going to undo that because I need to be on a path tool. So click and drag, bring it up into here, pull it around there. Way. And hopefully, 
Now I'm going to Shift, Command, Enter. And that did not work. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to come over to the Path tool. And Command click would make that a selection, and I need it to add. So Command, Shift, click on that path. Still doesn't want to work that way. <laughs> I may have to do this in a couple movements, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, save that path for the moment. And we'll do paths uh, in another class. I don't intend on getting into paths. Okay, I can get down here. I can use that tool. I'm going to grab the lasso tool just because I'm going to do a couple different things. L for lasso. Uh, I'm trying to intentionally use a couple different methods on this for you. And so I need to add this little bit to the selection. So I'm going to grab my shift key. And come in. And this needs to be added. I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off that way and then come back and just continue to add because it's easier to do it in little pieces than to try to get the whole darn thing at once. So I've added that. I could go add this as well if I want. And truthfully, I should grab some of this uh, and hit W to come back to my quick selection tool. Get a really small brush here. Hold my shift key to add and see how much of the foot and the cleat I can pick up this way. I'm going to have to go remove some now. Right in there needs to be removed. Alt. Command Z. This one is going to be a uh, little more difficult, so I'm going to use the lasso tool. I'm adding to the. Uh, I'm going to remove this from the selection. Try my W for wand, which is should still be set at my option. Shrink that down. Right there, this little bit can be added back in, which means I can probably come over to this path and move it as well using my quick selection tool. I've got most of it, I still have a little bit there, so I'm going to L for lasso, bounce back over, option, and remove that as well. You get the idea of how we can kind of work through it and uh, get, again depends on this is shift looks like the lasso tool is going to be the easiest way for me to do this yes I know it would be nice if something just one click and it's done, but it is really a matter of that's not adding. I should be, let's see, 
Alt, I should be subtracting the Alt key here. I might pick that up with one tool, but I'm already in the lasso tool, so I'm just going to add that. And add that. Subtract that. little bit of fun. Um, I'm going to try my one. Going back to my wand tool. I need to add some of this chin guard face mask here. It's got a really small brush. And it's like three to five pixels small. I decided I thought I wanted some other things. I got too close to an edge there, which means I'll have to go clean it up if I I cleaned it up pretty well there, didn't it? And coming through and doing this. All right, it's got too much, so now I have to use the Option key and take this part back away. And I could have used a bigger brush, and it would have been a little quicker, but so that's not part of it, which means this is still part of it. It looks like so. I'm not going to sit here and do this all day long. Uh, if I was doing it professionally, I certainly would. But for a demo to teach technique, I don't think I need to. You can see that it jumps and tries to figure out what really belongs with what. It does a pretty good job most of the time. Uh, but we do have to constantly use our shift and our option key to add to and subtract from the selections uh, because it's not perfect. And we want to be perfect, right? Yeah, of course we do. All right, I'm almost done, so I'm going to go ahead and knock it out after I said I wasn't going to. key across our shift key I'm adding that back in and so like I said there are do um, dozens of ways if you go back and watch class I did a tour of different selection techniques once before uh, that path doesn't really matter so I'm just going to click off of it and you'll notice it disappears down there so I seem to have Mr. Uh, Mr. Winfield selected okay. I don't even know what that shape oh, That's when I started to do a path a while ago. I couldn't figure out what that shape was. So now to isolate him, I have a selection in place. I'm going to add a mask. A mask will hide everything but him. And so I, I usually will mask and not delete because look I got a little down here that probably needs to be cleaned up and a little down here I'm actually going to undo that um, no. that was white is why that didn't show up yeah there's a oh, I missed something there all right so grab my lasso tool real quickly option yes you can spend all day doing this The more you do it, the better you get. And there are some other techniques, but to learn our basic selection tools, which is what we're doing, we're going to do that. Now, <clears throat> I have two options. If I'm sure I have everything I want, I mean, I've got lots of options. I can use the mask tool. Now he's on his own layer. I could hit Command 
j and make a copy of them on a zum layer. <clears throat> One of the things that's going to happen as I do this, as I try to place them elsewhere, let's see if I have somewhere where I can place them. We'll stick them in this funny little, well, we'll stick them right here in my little brushes thing that I did. I'm, I have the selection in place. I'm going to go and grab him and come over here to this Photoshop document and I missed Command Z. So let's go back again. I document that I was working on, which is untitled, so I have no idea where I'm working. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and mask them. Take that whole layer over here. And there's Mr. Winfield. When I brought it over with the mask, I just grabbed the layer. that had him and the mask on, and I brought it over here. If I'm sure I don't need, won't need to go in and clean that up anymore, I could drop this in the trash can and apply it. Now it's no longer a mask, it's just him by himself. Um, but once I do that, I can't really go recover any areas that, that may need recovering. The other thing that you'll notice when we do that is he looks cut out because Light bends at the edges, and so light should be bending around behind him, or just a little bit at the edges. Uh, we should be getting a little blend, and we're not because it's a very clean cutout here. And so going back here, I'm going to go select, modify, feather, and I'm just going to add a two or three pixel feather on it. What that feather does, it works from it blends right there at the edge into trans, uh, uh, more of a transparency. So if I do that, and hopefully it's enough that we can, and I can zoom in and show you the difference, but it's somewhat, I only did two pixels. It's not like I did a lot. But so I'm going to grab that and take it over here and if you notice around the edges, I don't know if you can notice on your screen or not, but there is just a slight difference at the edges. See how sharp that is? This has just a little bit of blend to it. This is the one where I added the, a very small feather, and again, I only added two pixels as a feather. And so if you want to try to keep it from looking cut out, uh, add just a little bit of feather to, to it afterwards. You don't need much uh, in order to keep it from looking like you chopped it out. Okay, so that's how I isolated Mr. Winfield Jr. Uh, we did cover selections and some of the other tools in class, but uh, I hope that helped.